Hello, uh, tacticians and strategists, fleet commanders and Viper pilots. Welcome back to Battlestar Galactica Deadlock and playing Hardball. By the way, sometimes something here on this screen, I don't think so, right? Anyway, sometimes, like even after 150 episodes, 170, 250, you notice new stuff in your command room, in your war room. For example, a silent device up there, huh? Anyway, it is Heimerich's mission right now. Probably only a recon squad sent by the Cylons. We'll see what happens. And yeah, many thanks for sharing your thoughts, guys. Um, I also find that the last episode actually produced probably the coolest picture so far. That is certainly one of my favorites. Um, with the Revenant being shot at. And, and us having the perspective of looking from the back and then seeing all the artillery shots coming from the front. So actually here we can just move around. Let's see that. Going low, so like so. You go full. Identification. All frigates launch vipers. Artemis launch all squadrons. The Raticon. And well, actually. My mouse is, by the way, my mouse is not working uh, too well anymore. Not sure what happened. You guys actually go on full attack and you start focusing there. Because they should be all Nemesis and if they boost forward or something, we might be able to shoot at them. Yeah, there. This one is turning in, okay. All right. Yeah, they are very good. Should have focused on this one though. Both Rangers presenting forward guns on this one, shooting all missiles. But actually, no, let's shoot missiles at the one that is actually further away. Other than it's even smarter to shoot at this one here. Um, all adamants, shoot your missiles at that one as well. Fly like so. Focus fire on this one. The Artemis also shoots missiles at this one. And I want you Yeah. To fly like this. Slightly under the other ones. Well, the Manticore has fulfilled her job, the sign of identifying all the enemies. Lean in like so. Shooting that one as well. Oh, we've got a collision. So let's stay higher. I don't want the missiles to fly towards the sign though. And let's shoot some missiles at this one. So, Vipers will go defensive, but let's move like maybe here. Also, as you can imagine, I am planning to activate Flak in the next turn after our missiles uh, have been released. So let's move you guys a bit further forward like so. All right, ending the turn. Yeah, so, and that's one of the very nice things I, I had said this one before. Um, one of the really nice things uh, Fighter Squadron is taking fire. about this game is just the footage that we produce. That's really nice. Like also re-evaluating and re-watching uh, the stuff that, that you accomplished during the mission. That's actually a really nice idea. 
I had th said that before, so the person who had this idea um, of building the game like this certainly deserves the medal of being a gaming hero of humanity, right? So I guess they will start shooting now. Um, yeah, let's just stay like so. Focusing fire. Now this one is gone in just a second with all these missiles coming in. So you shoot this one. But I want you to activate flag on the left. There. And we go a bit lower. I hope we are not damaging our rangers. But the low caliber flag should actually be more something like a meteorite shower or something. So let's look at this. Yeah. They are shooting the missiles, missiles incoming. However, at the, oh, at the rangers. Okay, well. And at the Nemo sign. Well then. Then we can switch off the flag. There's only one nemesis uh, left anyway. Yeah, well. So the, these four nemesis yes, uh, uh, caused more damage <laughs> than than uh, an entire fleet. Or vipers attack. Nemesis brace for impact. Adamant presenting broadside. So say we all. Focusing fire. And the battle star. Hopefully, is not crashing into any ships. No. Also, focuses fire there. Ending the turn. There we have it. The Viper has made a uh, pass. And there we go. And that's that. Well, just mopping this up. We don't get any experience. Oh no, actually the, these guys here, they got an experience. Also the extra XP for the uh, for the confirmed kill. So let's enjoy the show for a moment. Yeah. And it's re really a very nice feature being able to look at this one again. I would love for some more RPG elements as well now. And some some more strategy strategic decisions that we could make or something. Or at least you know that we got some information uh, information that uh, explain the environment a bit more, like what the Cylons actually do, where where they get their forces from. Yeah. And okay, now that they don't need a habitable planet, they could be on any planet and then uh, have their production facilities there, and humanity would never find them. But I, I personally, I would just uh, love a mission or two here and there, you know, where our long range uh, scouts would find something and then we would make a strike on a planet or something um, and destroy uh, the Cylon production facilities there, for example. I think that would be a, um, a pretty interesting mission. So now it's Raphael over Tauron. So, but now that we only do one mission per episode, we end this one here. Thank you for watching. Um, yeah, and then we are continuing next time. Uh, if you have any thoughts you wish to share, please do so as always in the comment section. You know you're always welcome, and I would appreciate it greatly if you could click the like button right now. If you like this video just a teeny tiny little bit, and also to support this channel, our little community here in that way. Thank you so much. See you next time. Bye bye.